Hello, it's me, Kyle. Welcome back to Give Paws Hobby. We're going to be doing another quick piloting guide for one of the Rootbot factions. Um, this time, the Automated Alliance. I'm only going to do this once because now I'm smarter with my green screen, but they look like this. Uh, so, the Automated Alliance, <clears throat> the third of the original uh, Clockwork factions in uh, that we went over in the Big Brother video, so up here in the corners, if you want to get all the details about the actions that we're going to go over on this board, um, how the rules interact, just things to remember, pro tips that I have, check out the video if you haven't already. Um, this is a great way to make sure if you can follow along with what I'm doing and it all makes sense after you've watched that video, um, then you are ready to run this faction on your own um, with no headaches, hopefully. Um, or if you're just really good at Root, you have a good understanding of the game's mechanics, then this is probably a great video for you too. Um, you don't, maybe don't need the big long one. Um, so without any further ado, let's get into it. So the Automated Alliance, uh, at the top, you're going to want to pay attention to the berries. They have Automated Outrage, Automated Ambush, and Poor Manual Dexterity. For those keeping track at home, there is no hate surprises because they will not attack. Therefore, you, can't, you don't have the opportunity to play an ambush against them. Um, in Birdsong, you're going to reveal an order card. Uh, then you're going to craft it if it is an item card that is available in supply and you're only going to get one victory point. So, so far these two things are exactly the same as the rest of the bots. As with the other bots, if it's a craftable ability, ignore it. Uh, if it's not craftable at all, also ignore it. And when I say ignore it, I mean don't do anything else with it. However, you will pay attention to the suit. Third up, Revolt. If it's a bird card, you're going to take care of this in daylight. If it's not a bird card, you're going to take care of it now. Check your order card, and if you still have a base of that type, Mouse, Rabbit, Fox, then look on the board and see if you have a sympathetic clearing of that type. If you do, uh, find the one with the most enemy pieces, you're going to plop the base down and blow it up. Um, so you have to have a base on the board, you have to have a sympathetic clearing of that type, and then you find the one where you're going to get the most bang for your buck. Haha. <laughs> Fourth, Public Pity. If you didn't revolt this turn, spread sympathy twice if you have four or fewer sympathetic clearings, or only once if you have five or more. So down below, where you're going to have uh, filled up the track with your sympathy tokens, you'll notice there are brackets, and the first says four or fewer, and five or more. So this is uh, a reminder for this action. When you hit the fourth step of Birdsong, if you have four or fewer sympathy on the board, you're going to take care of that action twice. Um, so, then we're spreading into Daylight, where we're actually going to get the rules for Spread Sympathy. They reference it in Public Pity, but here they are now. Um, so, this is a long conversation in the Big Brother episode uh, about why the board isn't necessarily worded as helpfully as possible, um, because for Spread Sympathy, it needs to be adjacent to a sympathetic clearing. It's the same rules as the Meatbag uh, Alliance. So even though if you look at this block of text here, it says adjacent to any sympathetic clearing at the very end of the rule, I wish that that would be right at the beginning. Say place a sympathetic token adjacent to a sympathetic clearing and then in an ordered unsympathetic clearing with the fewest enemy warriors. So check those first, um, or rather check the, the adjacency first and then those other things. Uh, the order card, so it doesn't need to be ordered, but it needs to be adjacent. Then you check for order card, and then you check for the one with the fewest enemy warriors. If you don't have any clearings, no such clearings, like the first time you're spreading sympathy in the game, it tells you how to do it there. If you can't spread because you're either locked in a weird part of the map, or you have used up all your sympathy, then you get five points. And next up, Surprise Revolt. So <clears throat> if your order card was a bird card, everything we talked about in the Revolt back in Birdsong happens right now, which is scary because for everybody else, there are now more sympathetic tokens or sympathy tokens on the board, meaning that you could target more places. And then Evening. You're going to organize. In each clearing with the base and three or more Alliance Warriors, remove all warriors and spread sympathy. Uh, and then after that is recruit. So place a warrior in each clearing with a base. 
So you will be adding warriors until you hit three, and then boom, they disappear and you spread sympathy. So that spread happens first and then you recruit. So you'll never recruit into organize. Uh, and then last but not least, discard the order card. So a couple of rules down below just to remember. Crackdown, whenever a base is removed from the board, remove all sympathy tokens from clearings matching the suit of the base removed. So you don't have supporter cards to remove like in the Meatbag Alliance. However, you will lose sympathy tokens if you take care of that base. And then down below, uh, uh, martial law, if you place a sympathy token in clearing with three or more warriors of an enemy player, a single enemy player, you score one fewer victory point to a minimum of zero. And then a reminder of placement limits. In each clearing, you can only have one sympathy token. And that's it. So that is the automated alliance. The Actually, a pretty smooth running bot uh, once you get kind of your head wrapped around the spread sympathy order of operations. Um, and this, you know, Benjamin Schmaus, the, the original designer of the BetterBot project, has gone on uh, multiple occasions to say this is the intent. Um, the, the, this doesn't need to be changed. He stand, oh, I did it again. Um, he stands by what's written on the board. Uh, so it doesn't need an errata like the Bird faction did. But it's just not quite as clear as it could be otherwise. So keep that in mind. It has to spread out like a blob. You can't boop, suddenly pop up sympathy somewhere else. Um, aside from that, it's a pretty easy faction to run. So hopefully you have a lot of fun playing with them in your game. So thanks for taking a pause at Give Pause Hobby. Uh, we'll see you next time for the Vagabot. Bye, everybody.